beautiful weather for some outside volleyball in case yes, they wanted to. Yes, you know, volleyball. Cleveland showing off. We're exactly. here for it. Yeah, it's looking nice. Very summer-like, and humidity is getting up there. Not too much, no, it's but not tropics, you know, no. you're gonna you're gonna we're notice not in that. We're not in Florida. <laughs> So we're going to keep the 80s rolling uh, for this weekend. And throughout most of next week, mild air is here to stay. But we're going to be watching out for some showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder as we uh, get closer to your Monday and Tuesday. And that's going to be followed up by a brief, brief cool down, especially uh, for Tuesday afternoon. But that is going to be the coolest day we have as we head closer to the next few days or so. Right now, let's start off with Doppler radar because not much to really track. Uh, we have some ground clutter and we're just rolling in from the west, maybe a passing shower or two. We cannot rule out some showers as this overall uh, pattern switch continues to flow up to the north. So we have this ridge that's building for us that's allowing these south winds to really aid or warm us up all throughout the Buckeye State. Many of us approach the upper 70s and lower 80s. But notice how the showers are kind of rolling in from west to east. And that's the overall pattern here. So we have a high pressure system way off in the uh, western Atlantic. So that's, that's influencing our wind speeds. And the winds are flowing all the way from southern Atlantic all the way into the Buckeye State. So so a bit of a moisture uh, impact to our overall atmosphere, and that's allowing for these moisture and to uh, for these rain showers to be uh, continuing to uh, be a part of the forecast. But no real organization with it, but the added moisture has given us that added chance of raindrops throughout the uh, overnight hours. But check it out. This ridge is really showing up when you put on the temperatures, and that's going to be the overall air mass for us that's going to be sticking around for tomorrow afternoon. Low 80s possible and near record high temperatures as we see our next inbound cold front arriving by Monday night. But before all that, low 80s, maybe even mid 80s, the further south you are from the uh, lake shore. For tonight, a passing shower possible, especially as we head beyond midnight, about a 10 to 20 percent chance, just spotty in nature. So not a complete washout. Most of us will be waking up with partly cloudy skies and check out these morning lows. 64, that's it. And they, that may be a bit generous. Some of us could be waking up already in the upper 60s. And check it out. We hit a high of 80 degrees. And considering what we're tracking right now, 83, that's likely. Some of us, again, approaching mid-80s, that's possible. Well above average. Let's time out these rain chances. This is Monday at midnight. So throughout Monday afternoon, things are quiet. Clouds are going to be building throughout the day. Temperatures approaching the 60 degree mark by the time we're waking up for early Monday morning. Off to the races again, mid to upper 70s, around 2 o'clock, lower 80s possible. Then our next inbound cold front will be uh, bringing those showers and maybe even some thunderstorms. Current model update is showing a little bit more aggression when it comes to this thunderstorm chance. This is 8 o'clock, so approaching sunset Monday into early Tuesday showers are going to be lingering before they move out of here by midday Tuesday uh, morning rain to the early afternoon. A half an inch of rainfall is likely upwards to an inch depending on the, the tracking of these thunderstorms as they move across the area. A heavy downpour could be possible. Here's your 10 day outlook brought to you by Union Home Mortgage. Slight cool down. That's Tuesday lower 70s right back at it with the lower 80s Thursday and Friday. Brick. Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Next